So this is zero here. So this is 90 degree. And it is also equivalent to pi over two. This one is equivalent to pi. This one you told me is equivalent to, uh, this is 180 here, um, 270 here. So this should be three pi over two. And when you get back to this point, you are having what? Two pi. So this point, this point, this point, they have special relationship. And of course, you are dealing with unit circle. This is unit circle. All right. So within these unit circles, you can have some things like um, you can have everybody complete this task right now. I want to know if this angle here is 30 degrees. If this angle here is 45 degrees, if this angle here is 60 degrees. So I want you to tell me uh, in radians, in radians, tell me 30 degrees, this point, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay? So I want it in, in radians. All I'm asking you to do is convert 30, 45, and 60 degrees. Convert all of them to radians. And whatever you get, we are going to insert it this, at this point. You have two minutes. Um, for 30 degrees, I got pi over 6. Okay, somebody said uh, he got. Uh, if you disagree, say I disagree because, and give us your reason. So I'm just going to write what he said. I'm not saying it is right or wrong. I'm just going to write pi over six. So if you disagree, let us know. Do you agree with that? I disagree. Because, go ahead and explain. Um, I got one over three pi. One over three pi. Yes. So now please explain your process so that we can understand that. So I wrote 30 degrees over 180 times pi rad, I mean rad. 30 degree? Yes, over 180. Over 180. Times pi and rad. And then I divided. Times pi and what? Times rad. I mean radian. Radian. Yeah. Okay, so why didn't you set it up uh, the way I, I, uh, I recommended so that you wouldn't make any mistake? Why did you not set up to say that 180 degree is equal to what? Pi radian. Did you set it up like this? No. Okay, that's what you need to do. So try it. Try it again. Try it again. Okay. So do 30 degree is equal to um, X. This is what you don't know, radian. So try this. Try this way and let's see. You want to explain my answer? Uh, uh, let me give one minute for her to try, then you, you can explain. I agree. I agree with him too. Okay. So, Carmen, did you try this uh, very quickly? What? Did you say? Did you see it's what a lobby. Eh? It's a lobby. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. So, try this, please. So try cross multiply, try doing 180 degree multiplied by x is equal to 30 degree multiplied by pi, radian. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So then you are solving for x. So if you're solving for x, you have to divide both sides by 180 degree. That's the only way you can eliminate x. And then you come here and simplify. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. And you still have your pi. So it is pi over 6 radian. So whoever that got pi over 6 radian is correct. So now let's move on. How about 45 degrees? I got pi over 4. Somebody said pi over 4. Who agrees with that? Okay, explain your answer, please. I'm going to write exactly what you say. Go ahead. 
Um, uh, since pi is equal to 180, I have to Okay, hold on. Pi is equal to 180 degree. Yeah, go ahead. I substituted pi for 180, so I did 180 over x is equal to 45. Okay, so pi is equal to 180, and then you're looking for 45. So pi, I mean 180 divided by x is equal to 45. Okay, so x here. This is another, yeah. another way you just flipped out, you just uh, exchange the this thing. So you are going to have 45 pi, 45 pi is equal to x dot 180 degree. Okay, and then we are solving for x. So which means you have to divide both sides by 180. So divide by 180, divide by 180, and this crosses out this side, and then all you need to do is to simplify the left side. So 45 divided by 45 is 1. 180 divided by 45 is 4. So whoever that got 5 over 4 is correct. Okay, next. Uh, how about, um, apart from the last person who spoke, because he already gave us two answers. So how about uh, 60 degree? How about 60 degree, which is this point? This point is the 60 degree. One over, pi over three. Okay, somebody said pi over three. Let me write it, pi over three. Who agrees with that? I agree with him. Okay. okay. And that's correct. That's correct. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, Converting from degree to radian or from radian to degree, they are synonymous with unit circle. You must know it. You must understand it. You must understand it to make progress in this course. This basic conversion. You have to get it somehow. Now we have um, we have converted many uh, degrees to radians. So now let's go over and start converting more radians to degrees. So I'm going to write a bunch of radians right now, just radians, and then I will ask you to convert it to degrees. Mister, you you didn't put the thing in the uh, in the circle. Okay, uh, didn't I? I did. Is it not pi over three? Okay. Yeah, pi over three is sixty degree, right? Yes, I see it. I didn't see it at first. Sorry. Okay, so this is, um, let me write again. This is equal to 60 degree. This is uh, 45 degree. This is uh, 30 degree. So I'm going to give you a bunch of, a bunch of um, radians to convert to degree. And the next class, we will deal with more trigonometric identities. Next class. So, so now, to end this class, I am going to say convert, convert the following radians to degree. Okay, so um, convert one is five, this is five, five pi over three. 2 is 7 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 7 is, 7 is, hold on a second, 7 is, um, no, I'm sorry, 3 is 3 pi over 4, 4 is, 4 is, 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 5, and finally, 5 would be pi over 8. 